Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah the Brick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree 75 of the year 2020, appointing Dr. Ahmed Mohammed Mustafa Al Ansari as Chief Executive Officer of Government Hospitals. His Majesty the King also issued Royal Decree 76 of the year 2020, appointing Dr. Jalila Al Sayyid Jawad as Chief Executive Officer of Primary Health Care Centers. His Majesty also issued Royal Decree 77 of the year 2020, appointing Sara Ishaq Murtaza Akbar as Assistant Undersecretary of the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs. His Majesty also issued Royal Decree 78 of the year 2020 appointing Brigadier Hamoud Saad Hamoud as Assistant Undersecretary for Legal Affairs at the Ministry of Interior. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, on the occasion of Bahraini Women's Day. Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika extended her deepest congratulations to His Majesty the King, praising women's landmark strides in the prosperous era. She lauded Bahraini women's dedication work or dedicated work and great contributions alongside men in building their homeland and support supporting national development and progress. She paid the tribute to His Majesty the King, who hailed the anniversary of the National Day and Bahraini Women's Day as two bright days for the kingdom. She praised the royal patronage of the first edition of Bahraini Women's Day, which first celebrating or first celebrates Bahraini women in the education sector. Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika prayed to Allah the Almighty to protect His Majesty the King and bless him with abundant health and wellness. And on this occasion, we have on the phone with us member of the Supreme Council for Women and Head of Architecture and Interior Design at the Department of the College of Engineering at the University of Bahrain, Sheikha Dr. Haifa bint Ibrahim Al-Khalifa. Hello, Sheikha Dr. Haifa. Yes, hello. Happy Bahraini Women's Day. Can you tell us more about the role of the Supreme Council for Women in terms of women empowerment in all fields? Yes, um, if you allow me, I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate all Bahraini women celebrating this day. And to answer your question, uh, yes, since the establishment of Women's Supreme Court in 2001 as a byproduct of the royal reforms of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and as initiative from Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, President of the Supreme Council for Women, the Supreme Council for Women was instrumental in the promotion of equal opportunities for women through setting up committees in all governmental organizations with the aim of promoting gender equality in the workforce to guarantee, sorry, to, yes, to guarantee the women's rights. Uh, the support extended to all sectors, including education, health, and diplomatic fields, and many others. And with the continuous support of Her Royal Highness, Princess Sabika, the Supreme Council for Women caters to women welfare in all aspects of life. Amazing. Uh, Sheikha, Dr. Haifa, how do you value the achievements of Bahraini women in all sectors and specifically in the field of diplomacy? Um, uh, Bahrain women uh, proved their cap capabilities and success not only in Bahrain, but in the international arena too. We saw uh, Sheikh Haya bin Rashid Al Khalifa taking the position of the President of the United Nations General Assembly in 2006 as the first Arab and Muslim woman. In fact, there are many success stories. We cannot name them all, but each and every one of them contributes to Bahrain's success. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued Edict 26 of the year 2020, appointing Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, Director of Job Evaluation Directorate at the Civil Service Bureau. 
Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, the STW, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, delivered a message on the occasion of Bahraini Women's Day, which is devoted this year to celebrate women in the field of diplomatic work. She affirmed that the STW is always keen on assuming the responsibility of implementing the directives of His Majesty the King in Bahraini Women Advancement and support to meet their needs in achieving their aspirations in cooperation with the government headed by his by his royal highness the crown prince and prime minister prince salman bin hamad al khalifa she also recalled the efforts of the late his royal highness prince khalifa bin salman al khalifa in supporting the council's activities since its establishment in 2001 which contributed remarkably to activating strategies to monitor the progress of bahraini women at all levels her royal highness stated that bahraini women's day became a prominent occasion on the national agenda with its opportunities for development fields. She considered the Royal Trust to appoint His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister an honoring for his efforts during his work march in serving the kingdom, wishing him success in achieving the aspirations of the Bahraini people. She hailed on the occasion the efforts of Bahraini women who managed to make many achievements as a result of the support provided to them as part of the comprehensive development system. She expressed appreciation for diplomatic women who attained leading positions and made remarkable achievements to serve the country. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, stated that the STW, in partnership with the Foreign Affairs Ministry, implemented Bahraini Women's Day Activities Program. She congratulated every Bahraini woman who contributed to building the present and future of Bahrain and protected the stability of her society, wishing everyone abundant health and wellness. And now we move to member of the Supreme Council for Women and chairperson of the Bahrain Council for Regulating the Practice of Engineering Professions, CRPEP, Engineer Maryam Jaman. Hello and happy Bahraini Women's Day. Hello, Tava, and happy Bahraini Women's Day to you and to your viewers. Thank you very much. Engineer Maryam, tell us about the significance of this year's Bahraini Women's Day theme. If you'll allow me, Sarah, first I'd like to take uh, this occasion and my appearance on the TV to offer uh, my sincerest congratulations to Her Royal Highness, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, on the occasion of Bahraini Women's Day and to thank her for being the Bahraini Women's strongest ally and supporter. Uh, we are indebted to Her Royal Highness for this constant and unwavering support, without which uh, Bahraini women would not have achieved what we have achieved today. So to get back to your question, uh, the Kingdom of Bahrain celebrates Bahraini Women's Day on the 1st of December each year to commemorate the achievements and the contribution of women in the different development fields. And, uh, and each year, Her Royal Highness, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, chooses a specific specialization in which Bahraini women have excelled and makes that the focus for celebration and to highlight Bahraini women's accomplishments and success stories in that particular field. And Bahraini Women's Day, like you said in your report, uh, continues to be a significant uh, occasion on the national agenda, even after 12 years since its first announcement in 2008. And this year, the Supreme Council for Women has chosen to highlight women's participation in the diplomatic field. And uh, this is particularly significant, um, especially if you consider that the first female diplomat was employed as early as 1972, when the Ministry of Foreign Affairs was first established back in 1971. Um, and since then, uh, Bahraini women have risen up the ranks in the sector. Uh, we have Bahraini women who have been appointed as ambassadors in major capitals around the world, such as in France, China, the United States, the United Kingdom, and quite recently to, to Belgium, um, in addition to representing the Kingdom of Bahrain in the European Union. Uh, Bahraini women continue to represent Bahrain on the international stage. A particular accomplishment for Bahraini women was appointment as the president of the 61st session of the United Nations General Assembly in 2006. We are proud today that women diplomats uh, constitute 32% of the overall diplomats employed at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. So actually choosing um, to highlight this uh, topic of Bahraini women in the diplomatic field is to bring out all of the success stories of women and what they have accomplished. Right. Um, 
And normally, the Supreme Council would carry out awareness seminars, focus groups throughout the year. But because 2020 has faced difficult circumstances with the COVID-19 pandemic, the Supreme Council for Women in cooperation with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs conducted this year a series of virtual activities, both in the Kingdom of Bahrain as well as through the embassies of the Kingdom of Bahrain abroad, um, of course, taking into consideration the required precautions, the social distancing procedures, and all of that uh, requirement. So there was like awareness seminars focusing on highlighting uh, success stories and best practices, supporting the participation of women in the field, the Kingdom of Bahrain embassies all over the world. And of course, with international participation, there was focus groups on the status of women in the diplomatic field and the opportunities and the challenges they face as well as the impact of their participation on the national level. And the important thing in this is that the outcome of these focus group discussions are also used to inform future plans for the Supreme Council. And we hope that the outcomes of these sessions will yield a positive impact on the participation of women in diplomacy, and in particular, women in the decision-making positions. Um, amongst many of the other activities which the Supreme Council for Women has initiated um, included developing a national registry on women, uh, Bahraini women diplomats and their efforts since the early 1970s as a way of uh, documenting women's historical and notable contributions. So today we celebrate all these accomplishments and we look forward to more successes in the future in this particular field. Perfect. Thank you so much, Engineer Mariam, for answering that question and answering even the challenges um, and how Bahraini women uh, do uh, dedicate uh, their achievements to Bahrain in this, these times. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian works and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasr bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, on Bahraini Women's Day. His Highness Sheikh Nasr stressed that Her Royal Highness's support for Bahraini women has contributed to raise many female figures in the kingdom in various fields, including the diplomatic field that witnessed Bahraini women in distinguished positions regionally and internationally. He affirmed that Bahraini women are occupying significant positions and are moving steadily in Bahrain's development in line with the vision of His Majesty the King, who gave women all confidence towards participation in building the modern Bahrain and the direct interest of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. His Highness added that Bahraini women have proven their efficiency and high capabilities in the development process in the kingdom, especially in the long-standing Bahraini diplomacy. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated Her Royal Highness the wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, on the occasion of Bahraini Women's Day. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed pride in the role of Bahraini women and its active participation in developing the Bahraini society. He added that the Bahraini woman has had the full support of of his Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness highlighted that this year's slogan reflects the efforts of the Bahraini woman through which she was able to affirm her competency and ability in this field and contribute to achieving further civilizational achievements that are added to the series of Bahraini women's achievements in various fields. Sheikh Khalid wished the Bahraini woman continued success. The Representatives Council Speaker Fozi Zainal affirmed that the reform project of His Majesty the King has made the Bahraini woman an essential partner in the development march and became an honorable model for serving its country and society. On the occasion of Bahraini Women's Day, Zainal hailed the efforts of the government in translating the royal directives and employing national programs and initiatives concerned with women within the government's strategies and plans. She also praised the continuous support of Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa of all national efforts, initiatives and visions related to women, where she established a solid base for the empowerment and advancement of women by strengthening their role in building the state of institutions and law. And now we move uh, to a member of the Supreme Council for Women, board member of Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Ms. Afnan Al-Zayani. Hello, Ms. Afnan, and thank you for joining us. 
Hello, Ms. Sarah. Salam alaikum. First of all, Ms. Afnan, how do you value the allocation of this day to celebrate the achievements of Bahraini Women's Day? Well, uh, the Bahraini Women's Day is a salute and tribute to all Bahraini women for their integral role in the sustainable development of the Kingdom of Bahrain. It is also an occasion to shine on Bahraini women achievements across a wide spectrum of activities in all walks of life, with a special yearly focus on a specific sector to award pioneers and outstanding women in recognition of their achievement. Assigning a national day for women is an indication of a cultured society where women are highly respected and valued. And I'd like on this occasion to uh, present my congratulations to Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, wife of the King, the President of the Supreme Council for Women. She is our role model. Her, Her Royal Highness is our role model with her uh, re relentless efforts and continuous efforts for the development of Bahraini women and the Bahraini society at large. Yes. With the ongoing challenges in different uh, fields, Bahraini women still manage to excel. Can you elaborate on that? Certainly. Uh, in addition to the Bahraini women in the front line of, uh, of the challenge with COVID, uh, the white army, as they are called, we find that Bahraini women in the education academia sector also, and in the most on all the workforce, uh, were very dedicated, and they have uh, acted very responsibly and with the full dedication. We see that uh, also even uh, the young women at home showed uh, determination in helping their children to successfully complete the academic year. And let's not forget Bahraini women volunteers who have spontaneously started or promptly responded to social initiatives in aid of those adversely affected by the pandemic, being uh, national, expatriates, or uh, even uh, quarantine visitors from the neighboring countries. Uh, furthermore, the awareness and cooperation of Bahraini women and men once again proved that Bahraini, uh, Bahrain's real uh, wealth is in its people and the mutual respect and care between the leadership and the people of Bahrain. Yes, thank you for joining us. The Representatives Council held its weekly meeting chaired by its Speaker Fawziya bint Abdullah Zainal. The Council presented the messages sent by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister on a draft law approving the general budget of 2021-2022 regarding a draft law prohibiting the development, production, stockpiling and destruction of weapons. The Council approved a draft law on the environment and referred it to the Shura Council. The Council discussed a draft law on financial disclosure and another amending a number of provisions of the penal code. The chairman of the Shura Council congratulated Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, on the occasion of Bahraini Women's Day, expressing pride in the high status of Bahraini women as a result of the efforts and follow up of Her Royal Highness to empower women and ensure their advancement and the protection of their rights and dignity. Al Saleh hailed the support of Bahraini women and their advancement in all fields, commending Her Royal Highness's keenness on dedicating Bahraini Women's Day this year to celebrate women working in the diplomatic field. He praised the efforts of the Supreme Council for Women, which made considerable achievements in empowering women and ensuring their advancement. He wished Her Royal Highness abundant health and happiness. Based on the importance of informing the public about developments of events and supplementing the statement issued by the Ministry of Interior on November 25, 2020 regarding the interception by three Qatari coast and border security patrols of two Bahraini Coast Guard vessels on their way back following the end of their mission in al Mana maritime exercise, a number of facts needed to be clarified. The incident targeting the two Bahraini vessels by the Qatari patrol started with the response of the two vessels, then their interception. The Qataris detained the vessels, threatened to use weapons and prevented the Bahraini crews from contacting the operations room without regard to their affiliation to the Bahraini Coast Guard as an official entity.
The Ministry of Interior commended the level of discipline, professionalism and self-restraint of the two Bahraini vessel captains during the incident in dealing with the hostile actions of the Qataris. The Ministry of Interior has reiterated its categorical rejection of any insults to its staff or threats to their safety and stressed that it will take the steps it deems appropriate to protect Bahrain's security and stability. The Ministry of Interior expresses its condemnation of uh, the Qatari practices that it is used to carrying out towers, Bahraini boats and fishing vessels in this region. Between 2010 and 2020, about 650 boats and 2,153 people were arrested, which is contrary to the situation that existed more than 200 years ago during the times of pearl diving and fishing. Qatar has persisted in detaining Bahraini fishing boats for long periods and prosecuting those on board, which resulted in a negative impact on the livelihoods of citizens and in prejudice to the fishing profession that they inherited from their forefathers. Such provocative practices have deprived them of their livelihood and source of income. The Ministry of Interior reiterates its categorical rejection of the insults and threats to its members and their safety and stresses that the Qatari side bears legal responsibility for all violations against Bahrain. The ministry will take the steps it deems appropriate to protect the security and stability of the homeland. Meanwhile, the chairman of the Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security Committee at the Representatives Council, Mohammed Sisi al Bouinain, affirmed that the kingdom has preserved its lands and territorial waters, which are not subject to any form of compromise under any circumstances, and that it is not a pers permissible to relinquish its sovereignty or give up any of its territories according to the principles of the National Action Charter. He hailed the role of the Defense and Security Forces in carrying out their patriotic duty of enhancing maritime security and opposing sovereignty over territorial and economic waters. As Sisi condemned the futile provocative practices of Qatari authorities towards the kingdom, which are considered an assault on Bahrain sovereignty in its territorial waters and a violation of international laws and charters. The latest of such incidents were in the interception and arrest of two Coast Guard boats while practicing in the al Amana maritime exercise north of Al-Dibal by Qatari Coast Guard and border security patrols. He added that the incident occurred in the territorial waters of the Kingdom of Bahrain under the provisions of Law 8 for 1993 regarding the territorial sea of the Kingdom of Bahrain and the adjacent region, adding that the provisions of this law are still in effect and have not been repealed or amended according to any other legislation. As Sisi emphasized the importance of putting an end to the provocative Qatari practices and actions towards the Kingdom of Bahrain, which contravene existing laws and relevant international norms, agreements, regulations, and decisions issued by the Gulf Cooperation Council. He called for Qatar to stop its continuous hostility and violations of international treaties and convents towards the Kingdom of Bahrain and the countries of the GCC. Under the patronage of the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, a virtual celebration was held on the occasion of the Bahraini Women's Day, which was dedicated this year to women in the field of diplomatic work. The minister delivered a speech during the ceremony in which he emphasized that many gains achieved by a Bahraini woman under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He also praised the prominent role of the Supreme Council for Women headed by Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, in empowering women women and enhancing their efforts in all fields. And Naimi added that this annual celebration is an opportunity to express thanks and appreciation to the contributions of Bahraini women in all fields. He also highlighted that the kingdom's efforts in providing educational opportunities for women has had a prominent role in the success achieved in the national march. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif and Rashid Zayani, met with the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs and Expatriates of Jordan in Aqaba on the occasion of his official visit to Jordan. The meeting reviewed the deep-rooted brotherly relations between the two countries and means of enhancing bilateral ties at all levels. A number of issues of common interest were discussed. The meeting was attended by the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for International Affairs, Dr. Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and the Ambassador of Bahrain to Jordan, Ahmed. بن يوسف الروعي 
The Minister of Foreign Affairs also met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Egypt, Samah Shukri, on the occasion of his official visit to Egypt. The meeting affirmed the deep-rooted brotherly relations between the two countries and discussed means to bolster them and enhance areas of close cooperation, in addition to reviewing a number of issues of common concern. The meeting was attended by the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for International Affairs, Dr. Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and the Ambassador of Bahrain to Egypt, Hisham bin Mohammed Al Jodar. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Bahrain condemned the assassination of Mohsen Fakhrizadeh in Tehran. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs statement stressed the need for concerted efforts to reduce tensions, prevent escalation in the region and ensure stability and security. The Ministry added that in light of the current situation in the region, the Kingdom of Bahrain calls on all parties to exercise maximum restraint to avoid new levels of instability in the region that threaten peace. The Minister of Health, Faiqa Saleh, congratulated uh, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the Bahraini Women's Day, which celebrates this year Bahraini women working in the diplomatic field. Al Saleh noted that the pioneering achievement of women in this field and all other fields are a result of the unlimited support to women and the role contributed to women to participate in the March of Comprehensive Development. She praised the support of His Majesty the King, which resulted in Bahraini women assuming numerous leading regional and international positions. She hailed the role of the Supreme Council for Women, underscoring its role in providing plans, strategies and programs to support Bahraini women. We also have with us a member of the Council of Representatives, Ms. Sosan Kamal. Hello, Ms. Sosan. Hello, hello. It's a pleasure to be with you on this remarkable occasion. Thank you so much and congratulations on Bahraini Women's Day. How do you value the importance of Bahraini Women's Day? Well, this year, as you know, the Bahraini Women's Day celebration theme is in the diplomatic field, uh, whereas this underlines the key role played by Bahrain's embassies and its diplomatic missions abroad in casting light on the national women empowerment efforts, which has a direct effect on Bahrain's international status. I would like to take this opportunity in praising the great support of Her Royal Highness uh, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, wife of His Majesty the King and the President of the Supreme Council for Women, for all the women-related national efforts, initiatives and visions since the launch of His Majesty the King's reform project. Uh, Her, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika has led the Bahraini woman to glory through playing a major role in transforming the Bahraini woman in a short period of time, from the empowerment phase to the advancement phase. Uh, and that is uh, through activating their capabilities and enhancing their role in building the state of law and uh, institutions. Uh, as well, the steady progress made by Bahraini women across various fields reveals the size of the tremendous efforts and the qualitative initiatives launched uh, to enrich the kingdom's record of achievements and giving, reaching the goals emanating from the aspirations of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa, the supporter of uh, comprehensive development in the kingdom. Um, I also would like to commend the efforts being made by the government, uh, led by His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, to translate the royal directives into ground uh, and to integrate women-related plans and programs in its strategies and action plans that has contributed to make advanced and fruitful strides uh, in the achievement filled National March. Uh, Bahraini female diplomats have achieved remarkable success stories since the beginning of uh, official diplomatic work nearly five decades uh, ago. And I'm commending also this effective role played by the Supreme Council for Women, that pioneering national and international monument. Uh, in implementing the ambitious national vision on achieving an equal partnership, building a sustainable competitive society and constantly uh, striving to consolidate the values and principles of equal opportunities uh, between men and women. Uh, and coming to the role of the Council of Representatives, uh, which is keen to place issues related to Bahraini women among its priorities, and to support the national plans aimed at achieving more advancement for them uh, through passing laws and legislation that help them in performing their social and family duties while carrying on their role uh, in contributing to the kingdom's uh, progress. That's marvelous. Thank you very much, Ms. Sosa, for being with us. 
The Ministry of Information mourns the death of media figure Sana Yusuf Sagar, who passed away yesterday aged 47 after a long battle with illness and a rich professional life. The deceased worked for 23 years at Bahrain News Agency and Radio Bahrain, where she showed high commitment and a great passion for her media work. The ministry extends its deepest condolences to the family of the deceased and to the media community, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest her soul and vast paradise and give her family solace and fortitude. The National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus COVID-19 today announced a reduction in the cost of PCR laboratory tests for all arrivals into Bahrain, including citizens, residents and visitors from 60 to 40 Bahraini dinars. The 40 Bahraini dinars fee will cover the PCR arrival test as well as the test to be conducted on the 10th day of arrival into Bahrain. The task force highlighted that all precautionary measures announced previously will still be followed, including including activating the Be Aware Bahrain application for all arrivals. For those who tested negative upon arrival, leaving one's residency or place of stay is conditional upon signing a disclaimer pledging their commitment to following all precautionary measures issued by the Ministry of Health in conjunction with self-isolation until the result of the upon arrival PCR test is confirmed. Those residing in the kingdom for more than 10 days should conduct the second PCR test on the 10th day of their stay if the the second test result is positive. The Ministry of Health will be in direct contact with the individual using the number provided upon arrival into the kingdom. The task force stressed that it will continue to review all relevant decisions periodically in a manner that preserves the health and safety of all.